Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Wall Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the final tool that I've completed on this Medique Wall Tools toolbar and that is the join wall function. <clears throat> it's this little icon here with a zipper looking at device. So let's go ahead and put that back in the uh, tray down here. Um, so to start with we'll just draw a few walls and what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to drop these walls um, in line here. And then we'll just draw a wall there, maybe a wall here, uh, maybe just a wall there. Okay, so we got a few walls. Right, so mainly what I want to obviously uh, demonstrate is where you have two walls that are in line with each other and we're going to go ahead and join those walls. But first let's go ahead and just add in a uh, couple openings just to get us something started here. Door opening here. Okay, so <clears throat> so basically, what we've got is we've got <clears throat> two walls that are in line with each other, and in this situation, you are allowed um, to join those walls. So basically, with joining walls, it comes down to the wall location and placement and direction. So this wall and this wall obviously cannot be joined, and if we do try to join them, then let's demonstrate that now. Click that, click your first wall you want to join, click your second wall, and obviously it says unable to join second wall. The first wall, please try again. <clears throat> so so it gets you, it basically resets the tool and allows you to select your two walls again. So <clears throat> so basically, like I said, the walls have to be in line, and they basically the start and end point of the wall, either one has to end or start at the end point or start point of another wall. So let's go ahead and grab these two walls. And as you can see, they're now a single wall. And let's turn off the gypsum just so we can demonstrate that a little better. <clears throat> so, so obviously we have that, but let's, um, let's go ahead and split that wall actually. So we're just going to use the regular split tool. And we'll split it right there. Okay, so we've created a split wall situation, you know, where we have two walls again. And now we're going to join these walls again. So let's watch what happens while we do that on the back side so we can see the framing. Okay, so, and by the way, it doesn't matter whether it's this wall or this wall or, or this first wall and the second wall when you click the join tool. Um, in fact, we'll start with this wall first. And you can see that it now is a single wall. So really, I guess there's not too much to show with this other than the fact that it works. Um, one thing, though, I did want to demonstrate uh, with the previous uh, in the previous video where I did the stretch wall tool and I failed to do that was when you do use the stretch wall tool. Um, somebody had mentioned that um, they didn't <clears throat> see what happened if I stretched beyond or you know basically shrunk this wall where it. It ran into a door. So if you go past the middle point of one of these openings, um, what's going to happen is it, is it should delete that opening automatically. So let's try that. Um, we're going to go past this door. Let's try to see right here. And you can see the door is gone. So it took care of that. So it will automatically uh, determine the location of that opening and then if the opening is outside the bounds of the new wall, it will go ahead and delete that. And just to verify, I'm going to look at the attribute editor and see we only have window, two windows and no door. Whereas previously we had a door in there. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the uh, join tool. It's fairly simple. Um, the only other thing I can think of is that if you do have... Um, let's go ahead and split this wall real quick. If you do have two walls and they have dissimilar claddings and dissimilar features, um, basically, the wall to the left, which will always be the start, the new, you know, the kind of the, the master wall. This will drive the features of this wall. So, so regardless of how, whether you select this wall first or this wall or this wall and then this wall, the wall to the left will be the one where the properties are inherited from. 
Um, and I may change that at some point where, you know, the first wall you select will be the one where the properties are inherited from. But for now, it is the left wall where the properties are inherited from. <clears throat> so for instance, if I took this wall right here and let's edit that wall, let's say we jump its um, wall height to 120 inches, 10 feet for whatever reason. And, you know, so it's, it's different obviously than this wall. Let's go ahead and join these two walls now. And it, like I said, it doesn't matter whether it's this one or this one. Um, you can see that it, it basically took the properties from this wall to the left and applied them to what would have been that other wall. So, all right. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or uh, feature requests, please let me know. And uh, always, again, I appreciate you guys' support, and we will talk to you soon. Thank you.